Look at my hair. I can't believe it. It's amazing. So I get my hair done by angels. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. I've never had it like this. So big and thick and soft. Oh, and it's fantastic. So here I have my Elijah hat. And I'll talk to you about slanders. All right. So I get slandered a lot. I got slandered first time, I guess, uh, it was a few years ago, a uh, real big slander. And, uh, then Jesus taught me how to translate my spirit language and it's a, a bunch of my new names. So this person was slandering me. Jesus was giving me a bunch of new names. Call me Hiawasa, the breath of the Amen, Mystery, Ridiculous One, Secret Arrow, Hidden Star. He started giving me a bunch of new names. And uh, I'm showing you my hat. This is my Elijah hat. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> the big dog party in the sky hat. I got a story about the big dog party in the sky. The dogs go to heaven if they're good dogs. If, they're, if they eat children, they're not going to go. All right, that's the final, final say. Uh, I can get whatever dogs I want, whatever animals I want. I got Coco the gorilla up there. Uh, he already had the, her all there. So anyway, uh, there's a, a slanders. So when I get slandered, while I get slandered, he's confessing my name, my thousand sweet new names. And he's giving me new names. And, uh, he said today that he's giving me that hour. What I have to say. So I give it back. I say, hey, here's my new names. He shows the translation. It says I'm the anointed deliverer and a hundred new names. He gave Gideon a new name, Mighty Man of Valor. He gave me a thousand mighty man of a mighty woman of valor names. I'm mighty, I'm the mightiest warrior in the kingdom. He said, <laughs> Look at me, I'm an old lady, old battle act. And I made the devil cry. So, of course, I'm hated. Cops got called to my prayer room on me for praying 10 times. <laughs> that has got to be something right. I get slandered. They call me a pet prophet. Oh, I call myself. God called me a pet prophet. So I call myself a pet prophet. I like it. It's cute. And so I got slandered. Somebody made me a video about me being a pet prophet. Slander me. They didn't have one verse against me. You know, the servant of all got to talk to all the kingdom, right? Got to talk to the animals. Somebody got to represent the animals, represent the earth even. I'm going to talk to the wind and the waves. So, uh, somebody got to do all this stuff, right? And he called me in and I'm like, uh, well, I'm the butthole of the body, Lord. You can do better. He said, well, I have need of my ass. And that's why he has the ass in the Bible. Because <laughs> the two witnesses are the donkeys. The ass. Yep. I sound like a donkey singing. And I laugh like a donkey. I laugh a lot. Anyway, um, don't be slandering people. And if you, if you blaspheme, um, what's going to happen? You know, if you cast out the one calling you to come and treat them despitefully, that means you're going to weep and gnash your teeth. Does that mean you're going to hell? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm afraid for my people. I'm really afraid. And, you know, he called me to come get you. I didn't know what he, I didn't know what I was doing, but he said, he called me. I didn't even know, know about YouTube church. He showed me I was posting Bible verses on a line, a blank line. And I was like, where's that? And then he showed me YouTube church. And it's so easy to, to cast out someone calling you to come on YouTube church. You just hide their, their messages. Just hide them. Say, hey, you're excommunicated forever. Excommunicate Jesus from his church. You're going to be weeping and gnashing teeth. Does that mean you're going to hell? I hope not. But I mean, you slander God. Curse God, you're going to die. And there's a warning about the two witnesses. This and them, that would be, casting them out would probably be considered dissing the wits, right? 
So you know what we have to do? When we get cast out and slandered, first thing we do is go puke you out with Jesus. And then he sings a song with us. Um, he sings a song. I called, none did answer. I spoke, none did hear. But they did evil before my eyes and chose that which I delighted not. Therefore, I also will choose their delusions and bring their fears upon them. And they get turned over to delusions. I've seen some of them appear naked on YouTube. I've seen them go from bad to worse. I've seen people start guessing rapture dates. This whole group I've been posting to, like a whole bunch of times. They've been like ignoring, rebuking, uh, not even giving me the time of day. You know, it seems like at least you could... You could look at somebody's material, talk to them, but no, you just get cast them out and, and ignore. So that means you not you don't have time to come. If you ignore the messages, you don't have time to come to the marriage supper. If you cast them out, you don't want to come. You treat despitefully or you're jealous or whatever. There's all kinds of reasons why you're not going to come to the marriage supper. That means come to Jesus, right? He's got a lot of stuff for you now. He's got hidden manna, new wine. The famine horsemen. That's the harvest. The wheat and barley harvest and the it has the wine and the oil. Pours in the oil and the wine. Famine horseman is not the bad guy either. Yeah, you know, the people say they're prophets. If you're a prophet, you know the horsemen are not evil. This in the Bible. Read the Bible. Look at Zechariah. They ease the heart of God. If you're a female prophetess, you're not going to smear that stuff all that stuff all over your face, that makeup, fakery. Because you would know it's witchcraft, sorcery, fake. You know the way they test that stuff on animals, test it on newt size. That's how witches do it. Now they use aborted babies to do it. It's even worse. Wash that off. Wash it off with something natural soap. <laughs> Make your own soap or something. And uh, it's gross. Make you stink to high heaven. Washing that, switching that stuff on your skin. The fake eyelashes. She catch you with her eyelashes. Catch you with your eyelids. This is fake hair. Fake hair. Uh, and fake color on your face. That would be Jezebel spirit. That's the look at me and lust spirit. That's not loving your brother. Did you not cover it up? You're dancing around, your boobs jigging, jiggling all over the place. You're dancing around with your legs hanging out. That's not loving your brother. That's hating your brother. You're saying, look at me in lust. All right, don't be like that. I'm covering way too much in this message. But anyway, uh, God bless. I love you guys. May our Lord equip you.